Okay, now we're in part two of our introduction to karaoke ESL. We talked about the left brain and the right brain, and we're now going to look at, whoops, not that one. <laughs> we're going to look at the techniques that I, as a coach, will bring to the game, of what, our game of learning English. Remember we talked about left brain filters and how we need to get into right brain learning systems which are skill developing and experiential where we experience things. I'm only going to briefly go over some of these because we're going to have videos covering each and every one of these. This is not our main product, our main activity, but these are techniques that you need to be aware of and try to bring in to your activities with karaoke ESL. So let's look first. First one is important is doing things out loud. You cannot you cannot learn to speak unless you practice out loud. Another one is story. Uh, story is a way to turn off your left brain. As soon as we get into story, as soon as someone says once upon a time, your left brain says, okay, I don't have to be in control on this. Smile is important for many levels and certainly fun is a big aspect. A fun thing to do is sustainable. You will do something that's fun. You will have a hard time continually doing the practice and the exercises to develop a fluency in any language. Your voice is another important aspect of how you project your voice, how you use your voice, how you empower your speech with your inflections and things like that. Speed is another thing. You spend a lot of time speaking slowly and not naturally. There's many aspects of speed including working at a higher speed than which you wish to work at. So therefore if we talk real fast you are forced to work at a higher level. Then when we slow down to normal speed you'll have a much more comfortable and natural ability to process information. Play is an important thing right up there with smile that a fun activity and particularly with someone else is an excellent system for doing anything. Having an exercise party partner, having a, um, a tennis partner to play with. Body, your body language and your body being connected. You are a person that is spirit, mind, and flesh, body. Let's use our body to learn with also. We'll talk about that more. Passion. If there's something that can empower your learning is to find a way to be impassioned, to be vested, to be totally into something you're doing. Simo speak or speaking with me instead of after me. You'll hear more about that. Twext is another important um, technique that we use. But ultimately, in order to be able to really immerse yourself in online learning or in any learning, letting go and going for it. Um, this should be easier than in most class settings because you're setting separately. Most of these things you're doing separately by yourself with an mp3 player with a song, effectively a coach, but you don't have to worry about failure, embarrassing yourself, not getting it right. Making mistakes is okay when you're doing it yourself. Making mistakes is the only way to learn. It is such a false world that everyone expects perfection all the time. Learn to let go. Learn to accept yourself. Let me quickly show you. Every one of the main products we use is a worksheet. At the bottom of the worksheet is a reminder, and you'll see all this later with other things, is a reminder of, where's it at? Oh, please, please tell me it's on this sheet. I don't have much time. There it is. A reminder of what our techniques are. Um, just like learning to do anything, if you learn good techniques and good habits, you will have a long-term benefit that will take you beyond other people. If you just listen to the music and sloppy and without due care and focus um, sing songs, you will not derive the maximum benefit. That's what this is about. I'm your coach, you follow my lead, and you work on the techniques, and you'll be a winner. All right. Bye-bye.